Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are here at the Dev Forum for Roblox, ladies and gentlemen, because we have some very, very important information to drop in this video. Now, let me tell you guys ahead of time. This information is coming to you guys a couple days late, but forgive me, I have been very, very busy at home. As you guys can see, the production on the channel has slowed down just a bit, but I'm still on top of things. So, I came here to the dev site because they released some very important and informative information. And I just wanted to share this information with you guys, the general public here at Roblox. So, if you are sticking around for this video, please drop a huge thumbs up on this video right now subscribe to the channel if you guys are new don't forget to turn on your post notifications so that way you guys never miss a single upload or a live stream on the channel so UGC catalog applications are now open but during the making of this video those applications are now closed this was the first wave that they put out six days ago Basically, they opened their doors for newcomers to apply, and then what they are going to do is review all of the applicants that actually applied for the UGC program, and then they closed it down just, you know, to stop the whole monstrous wave of people submitting crazy amounts of applications. So that's going to happen as frequent as possible. Basically, they're going to open the doors. They're going to allow people to submit their applications. Then they're going to close it to review. And then they're going to open it back up again, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But this little article right here, I'm going to try to point out some of the more key pointers that you guys basically need. But if you really want to fully read everything, I will leave a link in the description to the dev form. And I will also leave a link to the UGC catalog application as well. Once again, during the making of this video, all applications are now closed, meaning you cannot submit anything. You're going to have to wait until they announce that applications are back open. Now, how exactly would you know? You're going to have to check this dev forum every single day or you can check for notifications on Twitter as well. Most likely Bloxley News will report if they have decided to open back up on a temporary basis or something like that. Either way, if you guys are on Twitter, follow Bloxley News because they actually help the community out a great deal. They put out such informative information and they are the reason why I'm making this video right here today because I seen something that they posted on their page and they said I can use this in my video. So I wanted to give them a shout out. So I'm using their information that they put out there. So this was generally a idea that was brought together from Bloxy News and myself. So here we go. Developers and creators. Many of you have been eagerly waiting for our user-generated content, also known as UGC program, to open up to more creators, and we're excited to announce that we are officially opening applications. Thanks to your hard work and support, the UGC program has grown significantly over the past year. Now, that sentence right there, whether or not if you guys have actually liked what has came out in the past year or two years either way the UGC program has been flourishing here in Roblox now like I said whether or not if we liked anything that actually came out the program is doing pretty good our team is still devoted and is actively working on opening up the UGC catalog to everyone and this application system is the next step towards that goal we're excited to be opening up the UGC catalog program for applications. We want this to be very clear. This is a temporary solution to accommodate adding as many new creators to the program as we can support. And we are currently very limited in how many can be accepted at the time. 
So yes, they're going to actually review your applications. They're going to ask you guys to upload your workings and everything like that. So they're going to go through piece by piece. They're not going to just basically say, you know what, you're all welcome. Come in to UGC. No, you guys have, you know, you got to have actual experience in creating, you know, accessories. You can't just, you know, expect to get in because you applied. That's not going to work. It's literally like a job, you know what I'm saying? Whoever has the most experience is gonna get chosen over the new rookie here just looking to get paid. Anyway, it says we are actively working on a solution to the limitations. Basically, they're trying to work out a way to accept more users. But right now they have to limit themselves because they don't want to, you know, basically over crowd the UGC program. So it says, um, but we do have an estimate for when the program can be opened up more broadly. Because so few applicants can actually be accepted, this process may feel frustrating and draining for some of you. However, we encourage you to keep honing your skills in anticipation of the program being opened more broadly in the future. To summarize, we are adding more people than we previously have been through this application process. We're still very limited in how we can, I mean, how many can be added. Okay. So now let's scroll down here because this is the most important part of the video. The application guidelines. So you must actually meet these guidelines to be considered for the UGC catalog program. So it says be a good community member. Anyone interested in joining this program is welcome to apply. However, please note this program is in high demand and we are only accepting a limited number of people. We hope these guidelines help you determine if you're great, if you are a great a fit for this program. My reading is so messed up in the morning, ladies and gentlemen, I swear. <laughs> but Yes, it says be a good community member. Participants in the program have a highly visible position. Therefore, we are looking for a active, looking for active contributors who follow our community guidelines. So yes, you must follow the community guidelines and you must also represent the Roblox community in itself. You know, you can join as yourself, but at the same exact time, you still got to be able to represent Roblox. Don't come there and do some gang affiliation uploads and, you know, other crazy madness because that's not going to be tolerated. That's not going to be accepted by the community and also the program itself. It says submit creative and unique ideas. Now, this is something that a lot of us here are still waiting for. UGC has been really bad. A lot of people have been copying models, stealing assets, and then also just really uploading the exact same creations, just changing the name. It's been really bad for UGC, so I'm wishing all the new applicants good luck. I hope you guys are ready to bring it. Because honestly, as a person that looks at the avatar shop, makes videos on what's new and what's exciting and what's you know too pricey and everything like that basically i make videos all the time because i stock the catalog you know i'm looking for amazing mind-blowing ugc creations i'm looking for awesome arthro bundles and everything like that you know so i know exactly what to look for but you guys gotta help on the other end you gotta put something out there worthy of me looking you know, you got to put something out there worthy of purchase. You can't just be uploading copies and stolen assets and stuff like that. It's just really, really bad, especially on the UGC program. It makes it look bad by the people that are actually doing that right now. So it says, we are still working towards our goal that every Roblox user has the opportunity to create and sell avatar items. In the meantime, we want to simulate that future with as much creativity as we can 
fit into the avatar shop. For this reason, we are currently seeking creators with the distinctive items and unique ideas. If you think you have what it takes to catch our attention, show us what you got. So show your passion as well. You gotta show that you care with your uploads, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, a lot of people just upload just for the purposes, just to stay ahead of the game. And some of them don't show that they actually care about their product. Take time to really create something unique. Create something that's yours. And create something that you know that others are going to like. Don't just create something because of a trend. You know what I'm saying? So that's showing your passion. That's what that means by showing your passion. Because at the end of the day, it's what you do, ladies and gentlemen. You know what I'm saying? Me as a YouTuber, that passion to upload videos and everything like that, in spite of there being so many other bigger channels, that is what keeps me going. The passion for what I do, the love for YouTubing, the love for reciting information and sharing that information with a general public, you know? So, yeah, that's my passion right there for YouTube. I have a strong passion for uploading and for just being the best of myself, if that makes sense to you guys. It also says follow basic UGC catalog program guidelines. So it says both the creator and the content must adhere to our terms of use, the DMCA guidelines and program guidelines. Details of this will be expanded further if you are accepted. All of these are general guidelines and expectations will be handled on a case by case basis. So as I said, I will leave a link to this dev form piece right here and I will also leave a link to the catalog application, which is currently closed during the making of this video. So once again, here's your guidelines. You must be a good community member. You must submit creative and unique ideas. You must show your passion. You must also follow basic UGC catalog program guidelines. So what that means is if you are unaware of their terms of services and everything like that, that's something you're going to want to basically study up on. You're going to want to go through all of the guidelines and make sure that you guys understand everything before you actually try to, you know, commit yourself to this program. You want to make sure that you follow everything because those that do not follow the guidelines, they will be kicked out of the program. And what that means is basically you will not be able to upload your stuff if you are kicked out of the program for you know not following the guidelines um uploading anything that's inappropriate or out of content just you know just make sure you're doing your homework basically before you actually fully commit to this program and you got to think there are a lot of people that are like me who pay very close attention to the avatar shop. Every single detail, I do not miss it, you know? So make sure that you guys are definitely creating something that you know I'm going to like, I'm going to enjoy, and also you want to make Robux. So that should definitely be your motivation right there. I want to make Robux. And the only way you make Robux is if your items are good. You know, a lot of people are just spending Robux helping out these UGC creators, knowing that they didn't even put in the time and the effort. They just uploaded something because somebody else uploaded something. So they tried to follow the trend and they ended up copying and pasting or stealing assets. And they have been getting paid Robux. And then they get penalized for it, you know, because not only do those people get their um, stuff removed, they also get banned from the program. If you guys enjoyed the video, please drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, and I will catch you all next time. Peace.